What's so unique about this bike is that it's the first bike in North America with a connected biking system by Kobe. Okay. What connected biking means is that we put the user, the bike rider, in touch with all the things they care about during a ride in a super intuitive way. It's completely hands-free. Does it come, come with this thing? It comes with the thumb controller, this hub, the phone the mounts. Mounting racket For thing. either iPhone or Android. Okay. The front lights and the rear light that you were talking about. Yeah, this is really cool. It's pretty neat. What's even neater is that because it's part app-based, we can roll updates out whenever we feel that we have features that are like ready for market. So right now we're testing this really cool feature where if you brake, the built-in accelerometer will measure that and will send a signal to the rear light. And the rear light will turn on if it's off or it will brighten if it's already on. Oh, um, so it automatically like wireless. brights up on yep. the rear yep. and when you're braking? Exactly. That's cool. So that's an update that we're going to roll out this fall. Okay. And what's neat about it is that if, if you have a customer right now buying the Pro Tour, you don't need any new hardware. It's just going to come in the form of an update straight through the App Store. Oh, software. Yep. Yep. So we were talking a minute ago about that light, you popped it off and you're like, hey, I'm going to do a charge. So it, does this run independently and you kind of, can you power your phone yep. off of it? Do you charge the thing off the, is it integrated in no, any that's way? A good, that's a good question. Um, the front front end of the system yeah. feeds straight off of the e-bike battery. That's excellent because so it's a big straight, battery. Exactly. <laughs> the rear light, however, has its own little battery included and it will have a charge of about 25 to 30 hours, depending on how, how much you're using it, what the brightness setting well, is. Well, you said there's the wireless braking, so it has some sort of wireless built in. It's, um, I the would protocol assume. that we use is ANT Plus. Yeah, uh, plus you yeah. might know it from heart rate monitor. Your heart rate monitor, I think some Garmin's use it. Um, it's a pretty common standard in the bike industry and the, well, for, for most fitness devices. What's your role at, at Kobe? I'm a marketing manager uh, for partnerships, so I focus specifically on supporting our right? bike manufacturer. Um, I mean, Kobe is, um, is not that old yet, so we're not that big either. So even though I'm in this role here, sometimes, well, you need to know a lot about a lot of hats. technicalities as well because it's something that's completely new. Yeah. If we were marketing another light or something, there would be no reason for me to be here. Partnered with Raleigh and Isaac. Tell yeah. me why. Why did you partner with these guys? Well, Isaac is a very renowned U.S. Uh, e-bike manufacturer. I think they were even one of the first ones to really make it big in the United States. Yeah, I think you're right. So, yeah, it's a, it's a well-known brand. People respect it for its quality and its reach in the U.S. So. Yeah, and they've got. Yeah. Like, we were talking about your warranties and stuff. I think it's a couple years on most of this, and having an, and some sort of integration where you're able to put it on maybe multiple models. Is this? Are we just going to see it on the Pro Tour? Oh, no, or? We're gonna increase it. I was lucky enough to visit the Kobe office in Germany about 10 days ago. Yeah. And it was really cool because uh, the energy there is really startup and really excited. Yeah. I got to ride some Kobe bikes and then I know that you guys have shipped like these 5,000 units in Europe so far, right? Yep. So Gee I mean, whiz. This, is a, this is a real deal. Absolutely. So it's okay. an excited group of guys who think a lot like a, an automotive kind of dashboard way, which is yep. really, really, it's innovative for the bike industry. So it's really some a of great, founders. refreshing way. Yep. No, some of our founders have worked closely with, uh, with the automotive industry. They've done projects for, for example, Audi. Our front light is also inspired on some of the lighting that you find in some of the Audi cars. It's their signature look. <laughs> Let me walk you through the app. Um, so what we have here is the app running on an iPhone. Uh, just to be clear, it runs perfectly on Android phones as well. The experience is exactly the same. Um, so in terms of looks, there's nothing different between the two, uh, the two different app versions. Okay. Right now we're looking at the, the dashboard. This is the the screen that you'll see most often. And then using the thumb controller, you can adjust the support levels going up and down. That's the support level of the e-bike. It's like pedal assist level, pedal right? Pedal assist, exactly. You can okay. turn it off even. Um, at the bottom, it'll tell you the range, like the reach, the radius of the, that e-bike. Cool. Based on the support level. Um, then pressing left or right, you will cycle through the different features of Kobe. If you have contacts, you can put in your favorites here, plug in your Bluetooth headset, and you can make calls straight off, uh, straight off of your handlebars. Wow. Uh, if you have Spotify or iTunes or any other music player, um, you can connect your music to it and just cycle through your playlist, uh, play, pause, forward, backwards, uh, that's all possible. Will it help you find Pokemon, though? 
It won't. Not although, yet. There could be an update. Although, here's a secret. I think one of our guys at our office found some kind of hack to also... Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. You yeah. look, you're just like, I'm over it. <laughs> um, yeah. It's, yeah, it's not, not something I'm, I'm that proud of. But, well, that's uh, awesome, man. You know. <laughs> I like that. And so, is there a way to plug your phone into the so mount what's, somehow? What's really neat about it is that the moment you slide this iPhone case into the unit, yeah. it'll automatically charge. I can show you how. I don't want to break it or anything. Are we okay? No, it's, it's sturdy. I mean, after all, it's supposed to hold your $500 phone. So we want to make sure it's pretty pretty resilient. Does it protect it from water a little bit too? I noticed yes. it's pretty wrapped so we around. Have a, we have a special uh, silicon rain cover hmm. uh, for the iPhone 6. When you purchase this as a consumer, it'll come standard with the, the phone case. So there are certain bikes where it's like fully integrated, runs off the battery, but you also sell this separately kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, if you're not in the market for a new bike, or you already have like an Like you have last bike, year's Pro Tour, you know? You're like, hey, I want Kobe. Example, yeah. Um, then you would have to check if that engine is supported <laughs> by the Kobe system. Yeah. It's pretty new. Um, and we're looking, we're always looking uh, to integrate with as many e-bike manufacturers and engines as possible. But of course, making that, how do you say, retrofitable yeah. um, is a challenge. Why is it called Kobe? What does that mean? It stands for Connected Biking. So our aim okay. is because we're the first ones in the market to deliver something like this, is that over time, just like when people ask for a Coke, they'll ask for a Kobe, even if it's some other brand. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Man, it's exciting. So you were asking about the charging functionality. Yep. See these little two dots here? Yes. That's what brings the charge to the phone. Okay. They hook up with these two, and then there's just a lightning port right here at the bottom. Yeah. So the moment you slide it in, let me go into this mode. You said like any iOS or Android, but that's a pretty purpose-made case. So are we yes. talking like iPhone 6 and newer and Android, yep. um, uh, you so know, Samsung, exactly. S7? For, because there's not a single form factor with Android phones. Yeah. It's it's really challenging to, to create a case for every single Android phone. Sure. That's why we also created a, a universal mount. Yep. Yep. And the universal mount is what comes on this bike. Yep. The universal mount comes. Yeah. So with like it? Steven said, as a consumer, if you buy it, you get a dedicated case because it'll ask you what your phone is. Uh -huh. But when you buy this bike from us, it comes with a universal mount. What does that look like? What is it? Do we have one? Uh, let me grab one real quick. I'd like Be right that. Back. Yeah. I, I mean, I want to see. This is so awesome, and we're at a trade show, and it's like perfect. But it's kind of cool to get the real thing too. Yeah. Like see what see what works. He's a pretty technical guy, like really getting getting into the details of this display. The, their, uh, their group is a pretty technical group, a pretty motivated, energetic group. Was it from, okay, so was this crowdfunded? Uh, I believe there's a Kickstarter. There was something, yeah, because I yeah. heard about it a while back, and I think I even saw Kobe last year, and you guys were like, this is awesome. <laughs> it took a while to get it, you know, yeah, like yeah. all the details worked out. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna experiment with this some, if that's all right. You got one? All right, no contacts added. Y'all did a Kickstarter on this, correct? Or this was a Kickstarter campaign about one and a half years ago. You guys and, have moved uh, fast. Yeah, although not fast enough to some of them, but here's the challenge with Kickstarter campaigns. If you, exactly, this is the universal mount right here. Okay. So it just extends outward like this and will support phones up to six inch diagonal. And then does this, so yeah, yep. this is where you could plug in a micro USB into exactly. your phone. So you might need to get like, a mail to mail micro USB or a mail to lightning Supplied. or something like that. It comes that. with it. It comes with those? It comes with the micro Whoa. USB to micro USB and it comes with the micro USB to the Thought lightning. Thought of everything. Part. Thank yeah. you. Yep. Thank you. No, yeah. If we would ask people to also supply their own cables, that's it's kind of a bad move. Yeah. 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 I think that's, you've done a yeah. good job, man. No, I mean, the Kickstarter campaign was super successful, but the challenge with Kickstarter campaigns is always that you pitch an idea and especially if it's something that has never been done before, it takes time to bring it to market into something that yeah. um, is satisfactory up to the level that we uh, okay. we pitched it one and a half years ago. Wow. But now we're here as of August of this year. I'm yeah. loving it. Yeah, this is really integrated. Is there also kind of like, can you show me like a GPS type of thing or is there yeah, any? Yeah, sure. I mean, we're indoors, but um, I can show you. So you hold that center button Actually, and then you're kind of going yeah. up and down on assist levels. He's arrowing Left to the right. right. Exactly, we'll toggle uh, through the different modes. And you can also use your finger. However, Whoa. the idea of this is that it's yeah. completely hands free. We don't want people letting go of their handlebars in the middle of a ride. I like that. So let's go back to navigation right here. Four season drive. Whoa. Right here. And this so is all in your app? This is all in our app. Wow. And over time, we'll also be offering offline maps. So 
should you take this bike to, I don't know, Canada or Mexico yes, on roaming all. charges? Yeah. You can oh. preload uh, maps. Um, Sweet. Which is, yeah, it's we do some backcountry well. riding occasionally, and it, yeah. it is kind of like, ah, I don't get cell reception here. Yep. What are we going to do? For example. And uh, yeah, again, here you can zoom in. Using the thumb controller, you can switch to top down and to uh, 3D. And a long press will get you back to the uh, the main uh, the main screen. Sweet. It'll always give you directions here. If yeah. you have a Bluetooth headset, Kobe will also t tell you when to turn left or right. Really? Um, yep. Voice It'll navigation. Tell you when you reach your destination, things like that. So you can keep your eyes on the road. Awesome. I I just yeah I love the whole thing. The, and it it's. What was it again that lights up the brake light? Is it an accelerometer or a G? Yeah, there's a built-in accelerometer because we know that uh, certain phones don't have all these features included. We've yeah. made sure that we, we pack this hub full of additional sensors, which um, sort of like a Tesla car. As soon, like I said, as soon as we have an update, we could roll something out and all of a sudden Kobe does X. Yeah. yeah. Steven, thank you so much. Does this come stock with the Pro Tour, or is that like an option 100%. that people, that's part of it? All of this, what you're looking at. Oh, wow. Sans the phone. <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah. This is a deal I haven't been aware of. Cool, yeah. there's weather and stuff, lights. There's weather, you can toggle Look at that. light settings. It lights up here too. <laughs> awesome. How much is the Pro Tour, guys? $32.99. Wow. Wow, with the Kobe. With the Kobe system. With the speed pedal act and stuff, man. I'm, I'm kind of blown away. It's interesting for, uh, for people thinking about buying something like a Kobe system is that if you would buy all of these features separately, you would be spending about $150 to $250 more. Mm -hmm. Plus, you would have maybe four different units here, none of it connected. So, we're all about, we're, we're trying to declutter your handlebars. Yeah, I appreciate Make it, that. Your ride as intuitive as possible. It'd be clean. And yep. does this light change? I noticed that there's like a, that's what we were doing before. We're yes. toggling between just the cool yep. outer light versus the really bright light. Look at that. Exactly. So. Now it's off. Off. That's uh, daytime running light. Daytime. That's low beam. That's hot, low beam, high That's beam. That's high beam. Wow. And then if you put it on, hold on. If you put it on A for auto, we have a built-in light sensor. Cool. So depending on the lighting conditions, it'll turn the light on. It'll make it brighter. Is this it'll, a speaker? Does that have a speaker or something? It does have a small speaker. Uh huh. But we didn't build it to, to blast music off of it. Okay. Who knows? Maybe in the future. But like a horn or something. The idea is. There's a bell. Whoa. It's directional, so if you're right in front of it, it's pretty loud. Yeah. And that's rad. One more thing, though. If you uh, if you worry about bike theft. I we do. thought about that too. So if you end your ride, this is the home screen, and you lock the bike. Whoa. And you know, just like your car, right? Yeah, bleep, bleep. <laughs> you wait five seconds or so, you start shaking that bike. <laughs> it's like, don't shake me. Wait, hey, yeah. hey, stop. So Not this cool, is, of course, guys. really annoying. So if you're just carrying your bike or you can't, um, yeah, you want it to turn off, it'll, it'll take a, what do you say, a measurement every 10 seconds or so? So if it's no longer moving, it'll turn off. Oh. But you don't have to lock it, that's just another feature. Can you track it that way, or is that just like a... Uh... Whenever you lock it, the last known location will be in your um, navigation uh, wow. menu. Wow, so it keep, does it keep sending that out, or is that the last... You're like, yep, this is where it was stolen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not yet. Uh, we didn't build in a SIM card, but there are other ways to track stolen bikes as well, because this functions as a Bluetooth beacon. So we're looking at ruling out yes, features that might uh, notify other people nearby that, hey, oh, yeah, it's this, the bike is, tracking. this bike is stolen. Another cool thing is if you, uh, let's say you're at a, um, at a bit, I'm from Holland, for example. So if you're near, near the Amsterdam Central Station, it's just littered with bikes. There's thousands of them. Yeah. Let's say you forgot where you parked your bike, uh -huh. but you kind of get the idea that you're close by, maybe within 100 feet, 50 feet or so. Yeah. If you press down here on this black bar. Whoa. That's awesome. Right? So it's, it's like, hey, I'm over finder. here. Yep. I'm over here. Or you could just knock down everyone's bikes and it'd shake That'll for work. two seconds and you'd hear like, whoop, yeah. whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. Yep. Like, oh, there it is. Yep. You'd hear it in the river, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, exactly. someone threw my bike in the river. Yep. Awesome, you guys. I like the cafe lock, too. Yeah. It is. Do, do you guys sell this in, in Amsterdam or in, in Holland or anywhere that 
No. Nope. Not the, the United States, because this is a high speed thing. Do you guys have that over there? We do, but um, you have to have a license, right? Just like most things in Europe, there's there's quite a few regulations on that. So oh. I think your bike would have to come with a license plate. Um, <laughs> in certain markets, in certain European countries, yes. In others, no. Yeah. Steven, I've really enjoyed talking to you today. You have You're a favorite welcome. color? Just want to shout Let's out. Do it. Favorite color? Something that you? Uh, I'll go with Kobe blue. Kobe blue. Is that cheesy? Is that what's going on here with this? <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to get to know you. You're so articulate it's, here. We're so serious. It's this right here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's the baby blue. The baby blue. Matches your yep. eyes. Oh, Thank look you. At that. Man, if I ever come to Holland, I want to say, hey, cool. visit, go for a ride. I, you know, we just talked about the Pro Tour having it. Remind me, can it come on other models too? For the Kobe system? Yeah, if you wanted the Kobe system on like, let's say uh, this bike right here. Not right now. Not right now. Not right yet. now, this is the only one it comes on. Yeah. Like Steven said, it's got to be... Uh, kind of custom design. Well, it's got to be sure that it works with that system. And they're having yeah. their hands full right now with the development they have. In the future, we want to offer it to more in, on more bikes.